A lot of cool and fascinating research happens at Purdue, but how much of it does the general public actually know about? Star City's Nina Slosberg reports the public can learn about some of that research tonight. It's called the Three Minute Thesis Competition, and the name says it all. This is a fast paced competition. The top 10 students compete, and it's, they have three minutes to explain their research, what they found, and how it's going to affect people's lives. Graduate School Dean Linda Mason brought the competition to Purdue after seeing it done at the University of Queensland. She believes being able to explain research in a quick, clear, and concise manner is important. That's exactly what these graduate students are going to be judged on. They have three things that we judge them on. Their ability to engage the public, the ability to communicate to the public at a level that anyone with and no scientific knowledge would understand, and that ability to put it without jargon. There are three rules. Competitors are limited to one PowerPoint slide, no electronic media, and no props. Anyone who talks longer than three minutes will be disqualified. Akane Oda is last year's winner. So my research was about um, CO2 emissions from soil and uh, how uh, there is a material called biochar, that's a charcoal, and uh, if, if they mix the charcoal in soil, it can inc uh, decrease the soil CO2 emissions. Oda says it took a lot of rehearsing, but it all paid off. I was every night practicing in front of my fridge in, the, in my apartment, and then, yeah, so that you can, you know, the words come up to your mind automatically. Some of this year's topics include animal welfare, artificial intelligence, infrastructure enhancements, and prescription drug development. Mason hopes audience members enjoy themselves and learn something new. There's no tickets required. Just show up. It's April 16th. It starts at 7 o'clock. Uh, the general public is invited. It's meant for them to learn the research mission of the university. After the presentations, a reception will be held where the public can ask students questions about their research. Nina Slosberg, Star City News.